we hope that demo democracy will prevail against aggressions, against, against authoritarianism, against uh, the Tsarism that Putin is showing, um, which is really incredible. No one, no one would have uh, expected that. No geopolitical experts, no macroeconomic experts. Yes, there were, there were rumors, uh, you know, we had with Crimea, we had the, with Ossetia, with Georgia. We, ha we had other examples of the Tsarism, mm. but somehow was always justified by, you know, something. In this case, there are, there are no really justification. It cannot be seen as a justification, the NATO issue. But there is an argument. Yes. And I understand that argument, that Europe has been naive. Uh, and perhaps the Merkel era typified that because Frau Merkel believed that you could bring Russia into the system, that you could make it economically inextricably linked to Europe and to Western Europe particularly as well. That looks very naive now. Yes, you are very right. Now, if you look back to that uh, decision, the Merkel decision, it seems naive and wrong, very wrong. Uh, you know, but with uh, we're <laughs> With the analysis of the facts today, it's easy to say that uh, probably at that time was not that wrong, as a matter of fact. You know, we are talking, uh, uh, we are talking about a huge country with great nat natural resources, uh, and why not considering a peaceful development and a peaceful relations uh, mm. uh, with that country? Why not? There is nothing wrong in aiming uh, on a peaceful, enlarged Europe. Now, if you look it back, it's naive and wrong. But we went all in. We went all in with a uh, full energy partnership, leaving ourselves reliant as a, as a Western European uh, arena, uh, an economic bloc of dependent on the Russians. In our lifetime now, do you think we will ever be able to trust the Russian government? Yeah, that's a very good question. Probably not this Russian government, maybe a future one, who knows. But is it just about Putin or is it about something that many people fear is bigger? There is an ultra-nationalism going on in Russia that transcends Mr. Putin himself. Yeah, that, is, that may be a very good point. Frankly speaking, I don't have an, a, a, a direct answer whether it is only Putin or whether we can hope for something different, better, more democratic, more peaceful. Uh, if that is the dream, uh, and if in that area uh, there is a revolution, let's say, within Russia, with the new Russian elite coming up, um, in that case, I think we, we may very well start a new way of a new dialogue. There are not real premises to do a peaceful dialogue now. It mm. seems so absurd, everything.